all a goodbye. And uh, later, we're going to be doing some delicious lemon berry cookies. Mm. That will be rocking mm. the relatives. But, but first, we've got some fan submitted questions for the holidays. Ha! Ah! Yay! If you weren't in Hello Goodbye, what profession would you have? I'd probably be a homemaker, just a stay at home mom, probably. Make some meatloaf for my husband. I'm probably gonna take a lot of time off from my career later just to be a homemaker, you know? And, and you know, that's refine the, my that's, cooking that's skills. The, that's the real hard work. Yeah, you know, that home, really is the real you know? hard work, you know? You don't get a break from that. Yeah. <laughs> people, people say it's not a real job because you don't get paid for it, but tell that to my kids. Yeah, and the payment you receive is the sex from your spouse. If you could go back in time to any era, where would you go and why? I would go to the 80s because it was like so awesome. The 80s were so cool. The 80s totally rocked and that's why I would go there. Uh, I love the 80s. <laughs> if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Yo, I would be invisible. Or no, even better than that, I would get the power that um, Scott Bayo got in Zapped and I would lift up girls' skirts in my chemistry class. <laughs> I wouldn't need him, I just need to be his friend. Because I just want to look up girl skirts, too. <laughs> I'd want to be invisible like Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah, I'll I, Or just be Kevin Bacon. Yeah. I'd have that power. Then he gets The power of getting laid? Shortly after. The power of getting laid. So you want to be Kevin Bacon, too, is what you're saying. We all just want to be Kevin Bacon. If you had a chance to sit down with any of the world's greatest minds, living or dead, who would it be? Oh, uh, I would sit down with uh, Duncan Johnson. He's our tour manager. He goes to every show with us and like finds out where we're supposed to be and stuff. He calls the venue in advance. Uh, also, uh, my friend uh, Dr. Velkoff, creator of uh, Biofeedback. Jesus. Good friend. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. What's the most outrageous thing a fan has ever done for you guys? Uh, this one kid from England got uh, our peace logo tattooed on his right foot. Mm. Creepy, and he follows us to every show. He's at every show. He like ever thinks played. he works for us now. Yeah. Um, and he like <laughs> he calls he calls like the venues in advance, and yeah. he like like yeah. figures out all this crap like where we're gonna be and stuff. What time we're sound yeah. checking? Yeah, he like knows. What time we oh need to God. be places? I'll be like, and in a hotel, and he'll call me in the morning, and he'll be like, "Yo, you gotta be in the lobby in like 20 minutes." And I'm like, "Dude, you're like a fan. Like, get out of here. <laughs> How'd you get my room number? I'm staying under yeah. Harry." <laughs> Who are your musical influences? Uh, Scotty Pippen, Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Larry Bird, yeah, Larry Bird, Wilt Chamberlain, uh, anybody from the '92 uh, Dream Team. Wait, wait, wait. Dennis Rodman, The Worm. <laughs> saw, saw him in Ralph's. <laughs> what up? Sports heroes. Uh, you know, Davey Von Bolin, Bob Nana, Jim Adkins. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Mark Hoppus. Like that that video, Jim Adkins for for Lucky Never Man. Yeah, playing, the playing the basketball. Playing the basketball uh, yeah. One of your fans wants you to name their cat. Oh, uh, cat on acid? Duncan actually had a suggestion for this one, for the name of the cat question. He suggested that you named it Duncan Johnson. <laughs> or Travis Barker. Well, he'd probably like that too. Yeah. He didn't suggest it per se. But if he was here, per se. I'm sure he'd probably yeah. suggest that you name it Scott Rayner. Name it yeah. Boots. In his In his heart of hearts, he'd say Scott Rayner. If he knew no one else was looking I and he was getting a cat, he would name it Scott Rayner. Yeah. And then it might say like, He would on the definitely do that. I think know, I know Duncan pretty should, well. You should name your cat like no one's looking, you know? And dance like nobody's no one cares. watching. And <laughs> love like you've like never, you've never been had hurt. your heart broken and go on MySpace and then click on videos and then search cat on acid. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's right. hilarious. It's hilarious.